commemorating the landing of the first Africans to English North America 400 years ago. This weekend, Fort Monroe in Hampton hopes to raise awareness about their journey and life after leaving Africa. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens has details. It's a story too many people aren't familiar with. Our country's never discussed the story before. Hampton is recognizing the 400 year anniversary of the arrival of the first enslaved Africans to Fort Monroe, which is considered a pivotal moment in our country's history. I was just trying to envision myself. What would I be thinking when I got there? I'm sure they were totally confused. Organizers are making final preparations for this weekend's events. Con and Kimberly Thompson are vacationing in the Outer Banks and made the trip to Fort Monroe. They want it to be a part of history. It's always an exhilarating experience to uh, check out our history and on all our trips, actually. I'm standing where the first documented Africans arrived 400 years ago. Thousands will join the Thompsons to commemorate the anniversary and talk about a story that many say isn't fully told. Maybe our country will learn from the stories that we're going to tell people about here at Fort Monroe this weekend. Superintendent for the Fort Monroe National Monument, Terry Brown, says he could have never imagined this event turn into what they're expecting. It's emotional. I mean, when I arrived in 2016, I had no idea that the entire world would pay attention to what we're doing today. A ceremony, a preview of the new Fort Monroe Visitor and Education Center, different tours, demonstrations, and much more. The Thompsons hope people leave Fort Monroe knowing the full story. I think a greater appreciation of the challenges that our uh, enslaved ancestors had. And they hope that story helps the country move forward. At Fort Monroe, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.